Now you're dealing with drives that are extremely dense and can store up to one, two, three, four, five, even six terabytes now with the new drives coming out. Uh, because of this density, the amount of moving parts inside the drive uh, has grown. If one of those components fails, you've lost your data. So on a magnetic disc, so a, a disc that actually spins, um, you're going to have a platter and this platter is encoded with magnetic material and this is what actually contains the files and folders on your actual hard drive. Uh, a solid state disk or a memory card has an actual chip and they call the chip cells and your, your data is stored within these actual cells. Um, the only thing that really prevents data recovery from actually occurring is if surface damage on either the cells or on the actual magnetic hard drive itself cannot be read. When you delete something, Simply put, the hard drive removes the reference in the table of contents to that chapter. So if chapter 10 was a picture of your daughter, and you delete that picture of the daughter, your daughter's still there, but the hard drive's table of contents simply says that chapter's not there anymore. So that file and folder is recoverable as long as that original chapter is not overwritten. SIN numbers, medical records, photocopier would take a copy of that image on its own internal hard drive. If you have a photocopier, make sure the drive is pulled out and securely erased before it's given to another party. Uh, if you're, you're throwing out anything with uh, personal data on it, um, it's, it's best to destroy that object. Um, for, for example, if you're throwing out a, a laptop, um, the, the best thing to do would be to remove the hard drive from the laptop um, and then destroy the physically destroy that, that hard drive. This is what contains your personal information uh, that uh, you would not want to in the wrong hands. It sounds pretty silly, but the best way to destroy permanent data is to destroy the actual location of where the data is. And on a hard drive, that's the platters, and on a memory stick, that is the NAND. If you were to run it over with your car, you're going to shatter the platters. The other options, if you don't want to use the car method, is to go through and use e uh, zero erase programs. So essentially these programs that you can buy off the internet will write zeros to the actual hard drive. And when they do that, the files and folders have been overwritten by this data. Uh, trying to reconstruct data that's been overwritten is nearly impossible. Formatting a phone will destroy data. Make sure that you do the full restore on the iTunes program. And if you're going to do an Android format, make sure that you securely delete your SD card and do a full format on the actual phone itself. Uh, and if you have any other questions, contact your, your retailer or a, a lab like ours and we'll let you know if there's a hard drive inside that product.